I apologize. All right, go ahead, please. Outstanding defensive effort tonight. You created 30 turnovers on this. You've listed 20%. You know what? It's the best we've played defensively from start to finish. You know, I was really proud of them. It's something that we talked about the past two days. Uh, we went back and watched our Western film. In the fourth quarter, we defended extremely well against Western. We boxed out, kind of did, disrupted what they wanted to try to do offensively. Uh, but the previous three quarters in that game, they were getting what they wanted. And they're, they're, they're a good basketball team, very well coached. South, South, South Dakota State's the same way. Uh, we knew coming in here tonight, if we allowed them to dictate to us what they wanted to do offensively, we were going to be chasing them around a lot. And that's one thing we did not want to have happen. Um, I thought we set the tempo early, did some great things defensively, turned them over, and then converted those into points, which is what we really have to continue, continue to work on and continue to get, get, get better at. But overall, I thought our effort was very good. I mean, we worked harder on post defense tonight than we have all year. I mean, we circled the post several times, kept moving, so it was difficult to throw the pass in there. Came away, I think, with five or six steals on post entry passes, not just when our posts were guarding down there, but when our guards were too. So I was just really, really pleased with our physical and mental effort tonight. As with Jones just continues to put out good efforts for you the first half. She really did some good things for you out there. Jazz was a big spark, and that's one thing that I talked to her about. You know, it's it, when she comes and practices well, she, it normally relates into a good game. And that's one of the things for freshmen especially and some of our sophomores, it's hard for them to understand. You know, it's like, oh, I'll just come and I'll turn it on in the game. It doesn't work that way. you you got to bring it every single day. And then all of a sudden your habits start to carry over to games. And Jazz, when she attacks, she she's really really good. You know, the uh, our, our last ball game, game against Western, she was always trying to pass the ball. That's not what she does real well. Mariah is a very very good passer, and when I sub Jazz in for Mariah, I'm wanting Jazz to attack because that's what she does well. You know, Mariah's not as good off the dribble with a pull up jumper as Jazz is, but Mariah sees the floor phenomenal. She 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 finds her teammates. Well, that's not Jazz's forte. So it's like, do what you do and do it well. And for Jazz, a pull-up jump shot and attack attack on the rim is what she does well. And she did it. That's, she was outstanding tonight. Short turnaround for you before you go into the Friday game. Uh, teaching points out of this one that you can think of. Well, yeah. I mean, we'll uh, we'll talk to them and show them the the, the effort they gave. You know that that that's a teaching point in itself. It's a positive thing. Like. Look what happens. And it, 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 does it guarantee you success? No. But boy, it sure feels good when you give that effort and you're like, hey, I gave it everything I had. And then we'll worry about the scoreboard after the game. Coach, you've done a, a decent job recruiting uh, the last couple of years. Can Lamar Jackson winning the Heisman Trophy, can that transcend across all the sports and help you in that respect? That well, I think for sure. I, you know, it, it just puts our name out there even more. It gets our school name out there. Uh, I think everybody knows who the University of Louisville is across, across the country. I mean, we have more success sometimes recruiting in California, you know, because everybody, they, they know who we are. And now with Lamar winning the Heisman, it just puts us out there even more. So, you know, we definitely make sure everybody knows that he, he won the Heisman. We're, uh, we're putting it out there, too. Coach, as far as this game and, pre and preparing for it, you were obviously preparing for a team that had Macy Miller, their leading scorer. Yeah. What, considering that she, considering that she wasn't uh, in this game, um, it, it devalues the win probably a little bit. But obviously, winning by 53 against the, you know, still a, a dangerous mid-major. You know, what what is that? Uh, you know, what do you take away from that? What well, uh, you know, it's it's definitely a big loss for them, uh, but it's one of those where I have no doubt that they'll get adjusted to playing without her. Uh, Aaron does does a fantastic job with that ball club. I mean, for them to win against George Washington on Sunday, you know, down, I think, 18 a after the first quarter and still come back and win by five, you know, it's just going to take some time for a few of them to get, a, get, get adjusted to, to their new roles. You know, some of them are going to have to get more shots. But the, the last thing I'd call them, and I know everybody says mid-major this, mid-major that, I mean, that, that's the last thing they are. They're, they're a very good basketball team, 
extremely well coached. You know, when 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 you go to Stanford, and you're up, you're about 30 seconds away from winning at Stanford in the second round of the NCAA tournament. You're you're a pretty darn good basketball team. So come March, when the uh, selection committee is, is looking at girls' resume, this win is still going to be as strong as it would have been with with Miller. Do you think? Well, I, you know, I, I think yes, because I think they're they're still going to win a bunch of ball games. You know, they they have a very talented team. We we played well tonight. We played as well as we have D offensively all night. M M Madison number eleven is she shoots forty eight percent from the three point line, and we held her to zero for seven because we we were harassing her. We tried whenever she had it, she got the ball. We tried to be there, and then on on a few of them she got left open, but. You know, I, I think she was a little worn down, and we kept c coming at her that when she was open, it was kind of a surprise. And we we're fortunate that she missed those. So I, I have no doubt that they're going to win plenty of ball games, and it's going to be a very good win for us come March. The way you won tonight, being able to get some more reserves and get some fresh legs out there, how much is that going to help you over the next? Well, I think it's really important for us. Uh, it's not just for the next couple of days. It's just it's important for us to be able to, to to rely on our bench more. You know, when Mariah and Maisha get tired, like I want them, like I've told Mariah and Maisha, I need you guys. You can't save anything. There's no reason to save anything. Go out there to start in the game and go as hard as you can, and then I'll, I'll give you a breather when you need one. And then when I can get Jazz to go out there and, and do what she did. I thought Sierra Johnson played extremely well tonight. Defensively, she 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 did a lot of really good things. So when we can get more depth, then our starters are going to be able to come back in with fresher legs, and I think hopefully we'll be able to continue to play the way we are, the way we did tonight at least. How does it change your team with Courtney back to you know maybe what you expected to get from her? And well, she's just the the, the kid's a worker, is what she is. I mean, she isn't the most talented player out there. But I will say, her and BJ, night in and night out, give the best effort of anybody that we have. Now, it was great to see the, the rest of them play with a little more energy tonight. But those two, no matter what, I'm never telling them, you got to run, you got you, you to gotta do this. I mean, they're, they're out there doing it. Courtney, by pure will, every night. I mean, she comes up with five offensive boards again. You know, she just goes out. She pursues the basketball. She refuses to get blocked out. Is, is what it comes down to. Rebounding is all about effort. You know, you can run in there and run into somebody's back and make it look like you're trying. Or you can actually try to get around them. And Courtney does that. That's, what's, that's what separates her. I'm trying to get my freshmen when they're on the bench. Just watch her. Watch what she does. She never runs into somebody's back. And that, 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 it takes will and it takes effort. How do you feel about the pipeline, the talent area is coming into South Dakota? He, he does a fantastic job, I'm telling you. I know it's, you know, you, you look at his roster, and it's, it's Minnesota, it's South Dakota, and every once in a while, I, there, I, I think she has, he, he has one from Iowa right now. But that's, he, he does a great job of recruiting to exactly what they're trying to do. And it, it, it's a very good system, and they're, they're, their kids executed extremely well. Early thoughts on Charleston? Well, we're you know they gave us all we wanted last year at, at their place before Christmas, and and our kids remember that. So we are not taking them lightly at all. We'll prepare tomorrow, and then come out and play on Friday. You know they 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 aren't tired. Kids would rather play every day of the week than have to practice. So I'm not worried about any, any, anything like that. But I am worried about getting them now switched over and start start preparing for Charleston. Thank you, everybody. I sure appreciate it.